As a new burst of Democratic complaints have piled up against Obamacare. Yesterday, former President Bill Clinton said this at a Hillary Clinton event. Watch. You've got this crazy system where all of a sudden 25 million more people have health care, and then the people are out there busting it sometimes 60 hours a week, wind up with their premiums doubled and their coverage cut in half. It's the craziest thing in the world. President Clinton is hardly the only Democrat to speak out. Even White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest admitted more needs to be done. And the usually liberal New York Times wrote this headline, quote, ailing Obama Health Care Act may have to change to survive. Our nightly political panel is back. Editor of the Weekly Standard, Bill Kristol. Senior editor of the Federalist, Molly Hemingway. So, Molly, what do, what do you make? What? What do you make of this? I think it really speaks to how smart of a politician Bill Clinton is. He knows how to triangulate on an issue. Uh, liberals have made a lot of fun of Republicans for how much they have talked against Obamacare, and yet they have made humongous gains electorally by focusing on Obamacare in the last two elections. You have the New York Times, which is always liberal, not just usually, uh, admitting that it's a failure. And I think that Bill Clinton knows this is a smart topic that is not being talked about as much as it should be on the Republican side of the aisle. It's not a spent issue. It's a winning issue. But, Polls still show but that But how does it's it help popular. for him to criticize it? He's speaking to the concerns. A lot of people have concerns about Obamacare, and so he's addressing that, knowing that that is a problem people have. Also, if Hillary Clinton is elected president, she's going to have this horrible mess she has to deal with. So he's laying the groundwork, preparing people for how much of a problem it is. Bill? Bill Clinton just can't help but imply that perhaps if he were president, it would have been structured more carefully and then we wouldn't have these subsidies falling off a cliff. If you, Bill Clinton's a weekly standard reader, I trust, and he's read many pieces by John McCormick and Jeff Anderson and others pointing out that the, it is a crazy situation. You, your income goes up a thousand dollars and suddenly your, your subsidy goes away and you're, you're looking at a fifteen thousand uh, dollar you know, health care plan you have to pay for out of your own pocket. So it's, it's not a well-structured program. We've known that for a long time. Molly is absolutely right. Republicans won the House on Obamacare in 2010. And they really won the Senate on Obamacare in 2014, running against a bunch of first-term Democratic senators whose key vote had been for Obamacare. It's the domestic policy initiative of the Obama administration, an administration Hillary Clinton was part of, although on the foreign policy side. And it is mystifying that it's not more of an issue in this campaign well, for the really Republican come up Party. The debate very much. Did last word, Molly. It didn't come up at all. I would be surprised if it doesn't come up tonight, but it also needs to come up in subsequent events. All right, Bill, Molly, thanks for coming in tonight. Thanks,